Hello everyone, I'm Gyeongjae Lee from Seoul National University. I will describe generalized science entropy reinforcement learning. In this work, we demonstrate we can learn a field controller of a soft mobile robot without using prior knowledge about dynamic models. Many rural domains are complex and uncertain. Hence, modeling the dynamics can be challenging. Especially for soft robotics, soft materials make it more difficult. The right figure shows a soft mobile robot used in this paper. This robot moves by using a pneumatic vibration actuator. So modeling vibration is difficult due to the complexity and the uncertainty of the vibration mechanism. So we employ a model-free reinforcement learning approach. In this approach, the robot can autonomously collect training data from exploration and improves its performance based on collected data. However, collecting real data on the real system can be expensive. In soft robotics, too much exploration can damage soft materials. So to handle this issue, we focus on developing an efficient exploration method using the notion of solid entropy. So we employ Salis entropy, which generalizes Shannon-Gibbs entropy. Salis entropy basically behaves similarly to Shannon-Gibbs entropy, but it has an additional parameter called an entropy index Q. So we can change the type of entropy by controlling the entropy index. Especially if Q equal 1, Shannon-Gibbs entropy is recovered. As you can see in the graph, if we increase the entropy index, the magnitude of the size entropy decreases. So we employ size entropy for efficient exploration. Here is the objective function of size entropy reinforcement learning. Then j pi is return, which is an original objective over original reinforcement learning, but we add a long term size entropy as a regularization. So maximizing this size entropy encourages exploration, and we can control the exploration exploitation trade-off by using the entropy index. In the simulation study, we find that there exist some proper ranges of the entropy index. Q between 1 and 2 generally shows better performance than other ranges, especially Q equal 1.5 shows the best performance in various benchmark simulations. The other ranges, such as Q greater than 2 or less than 1, shows poor performance in general. So while we empirically show that there exists some good range of entropy index, however, finding the best Q value requires additional computational cost. So we propose a scheduling method which does not require exhaustive search on the entropy index. The idea is developed based on this performance lower bound, and jpy star is an optimal return of the original reinforcement learning without regularization. jpy q star is a return of an optimal solution of solid entropy reinforcement learning. Then for discrete action space, we prove that the gap between two returns is lower bounded by this term. The absolute A indicates the number of actions. So, this bound clearly shows that the gap between two returns vanishes as the Q value increases. And that's because the magnitude of size entropy decreases. Inspired by this fact, we linearly increase this Q value. And we call this method size sector critic with curricula or TAC squared. TAC squared encourages exploration when Q value is small and gradually converges to greet the optimal policy as Q value increases. Finally, we demonstrate the proposed method on the soft mobile robot by learning a feedback controller and compare it with other existing actor query method. Then this video shows the performance of trained controllers when the same number of data are given. Yellow point is a target point, 
and his scared reaches target point more precisely than other methods. Thus, this squared outperforms other methods. Consequently, it theoretically and empirically shows that the size entropy can have efficient exploration. Thank you.